Alex here for episode 9 of Buck Talks. Today we're going to be talking about polishing pads. Uh, so first off when polishing is typically with a machine polisher. Uh, so a lot of the common ones are Rupes or Flex or um, any of the other ones. Porter Cable 7424 is a really popular one. Uh, or anything from some of the other big brands. Now with mine in particular I'm using a 5.5 inch pad. Um, so a lot of the, the correction that I do is um, with something like the orange lake country pad um, which is a great pad for cutting and finishing as well uh, foam tends to finish out really really nicely uh, if you're dealing with a little bit more aggressive um, kind of harder paint uh, you can go something with the microfiber this is the um, mcguire's microfiber cutting pad uh, i absolutely love this um, you know on my volkswagen it has a little bit harder paint so it uh, requires a little bit more bite sometimes, and uh, these tend to work out really well. An issue with microfiber is that it just generate heat, so you do want to be careful of that. And then another one of my favorites is the Buff and Shine Eurofiber, uh, which is a, a kind of a combination mix uh, pad, and it's a, a really, really solid unit. Um, great for kind of some softer paints and harder paints, and just kind of doing a, like a one-step, something like Levi's Classic 20-Minute One-Step. Uh, is a good pad for it too. And then uh, you'll notice some smaller ones as well, some three inch pads. Uh, I've converted an old machine to uh, a three inch backing plate and uh, just to get some extra life and use out of it, which is a, a really good thing if, if you're a beginner or something like that and you don't want to invest in a dedicated three inch polisher. Uh, so again, with this one, same Lake Country Orange um, cutting pad, uh, good for the smaller areas. And then of course we have the black um, finishing pad if you're just kind of cleaning things up a little bit with a polish and you don't need any cut um, but you do need to do some polishing and then also we have a larger five and a half inch um, black pad as well and then with the towels if I'm doing a heavier compound removal uh, I do like to use the creature uh, again with it being a, a dual pile towel um, has a bit more bite and uh, is able to grab the uh, the compound without marring the surface and then with polish um, I do love the Eagle Edges 350 is a fantastic unit uh, for stuff like that. So uh, one thing to keep in mind with any one of the pads is keeping them clean throughout the panels. Uh, if you are lucky enough to have compressed air, uh, blowing them out is a, a really nice option. And then if you don't have compressed air, you can use a stiff brush to kind of clean them up and uh, just keep them clean. And then obviously, once you're done, you want to clean out the pads, get all the compound polish out of it. Rags to Riches is absolutely fantastic for that. You can spray it on to pre-soak it and put it in a bucket if you want. Uh, leave it for 24 hours, rinse them out with warm water. And uh, you mean you want to keep, keep your pads in tip-top shape. And, um, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a direct message on Instagram at BuckyVW. Uh, if you're shopping at the ragcompany.com, be sure to use Bucky15 to save 15%. If you're up in Canada at Auto Obsessed, use Bucky15 to save 15% off Rag Company products. And I do also encourage you to check out the Rag Company YouTube channel, the Rag Company podcast YouTube channel, and the Rag Company FAQ YouTube channel as uh, fantastic sources of information. So have a good day, guys. Thanks.